In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating what goes wrong if the tube is too small and you want to finish the eye bar. Now, we don't want to see that. This needs to be moved downward. Go to Accept the Zone, Edit it, left click, and then with the mouse wheel, expand that and grab it downwards so that it doesn't go over the top of the hole. Object mode, and then we are ready to correct the thickness of the hybrid. You can see how this zone actually goes on the inside of these screw holes. Now, the blue tubes are going to cut away the material that is on the inside of these screw holes and then the leftover material will be added to the eye bar to the hybrid so let's demonstrate here are the tubes and if you can visualize that these uh, blue tubes are going to cut away the green zone first so they'll perforate and make a hole going through it and the leftover material what's left over is going to be added to the hybrid. So this is something that needs to be understood. Now we're going to put this to the test and purposefully make this tube too small. Now I'm selecting a vertice, then we're going to go into cross section. First of all, I'm going to make them smaller, control A, and then move the mouse. Alt B and then see it from the side and we're going to grab this vertex and move it to the right hand side. Note how it actually penetrates inside the hole. This now means that the tube is going to cut through this green zone, make a hole, but there'll be a little bit of material left over there to unify to my hybrid and it's going to destroy the inside of my screw hole. Let's have a look and see what happens. Now I'm going to click cor correct thickness of the hybrid and then we're going to wait. Okay time to inspect the screw hole. Here we go. I'm going to go back a few steps and we're going to now purposefully put the tube a little bit different and we're going to get a similar result. So all the way back to where we're doing the safety zone. Okay, repetition. So we're going to take all of those and move it to the right. First of all, Control A, make it thinner. Okay, and I'm going to take the, the lowest vertex, move it to the right hand side. Note how I'm actually pivoting this so that it's inside of my multi-unit abutment. This now means that the green zone, which will be cut by the blue tube first to perforate it, is going to be on the inside of my screw hole. This is going to destroy my geometry. Okay, now let's correct the thickness and see what happens. Okay, there we go. So this is a clear indication of what is going on. Now I'm going to go back all the way and do it correctly. Okay, add my safety zone, edit that, grab this down. We're going to accept that and I'm going to inspect my tubes. Now 
This time around my tubes have been done correctly and they encompass the entire multi-unit abutment and the screw hull. And I'm checking all of these screw hulls to make very sure that they have been encompassed. It's looking great. Alt B just to have a good look and this is all good. So careful inspection is paramount. Then we're going to correct the thickness. So a quick inspection and we note that our screw holes have been protected and no mesh geometry has been disturbed. And then we carry on and separate the hybrid and make an eye bar.